Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. I just returned from Japan with my family and I'm slowly unpacking and trying to gather all my goodies to show you in uh, several sort of mini haul videos because it can get quite long if I show everything in one shot. So I wanted to start today's video with some products I got from a brand called RMK. This is a beauty brand uh, made in Japan. I heard about this brand from a another YouTuber and I thought I would just give it a shot. It's sold in the kind of more higher end department stores. So this particular set or these three items I got in Daimaru and I just thought I would do a quick show and tell video of it and just show what it looks like, my thought process in getting it, and just sharing some of the price details. So in the next couple of videos, you'll see me sharing uh, some of the other products I got, whether it's higher end or drugstore kind of beauty products. I wanted to just do a whole series on that of things that I purchased from Japan. So be on the lookout for that. I'm also working on some clips that I gathered while I was traveling there uh, because there's been a lot of uh, movement and um, a lot of travels uh, going to and from Japan lately and I thought I would just share some of the places that I went to and what we did there. So without further ado, I'll just go into these three products. I try to be very conscious of not getting too many items that are similar to each other, uh, but I was tempted to try this brand and decided to just pull the trigger. So this particular item here is a concealer. It's a pen brush concealer in the color 02. And I tested this out with the kind of sales associate that was working there. You can see the packaging is very minimal. It's like a matte kind of silver color, uh, very minimal branding, which I like. And it's very Japanese kind of, you know, trait for minimal packaging and design. So you see here, it, it has some weight to it. And this is the concealer brush. I haven't used it yet, but I think you just get the product out by just clicking the brush a little bit. Let's see if some of it comes out. And it's quite soft to the touch. Let's see if the product will actually come out. I'm not sure how many clicks it will take, but let's give it a shot. It seemed to be very convenient to use. And ah, I do see some of the product coming out right now. Let's give it a little more. Yeah, okay. So you see the product has come out and it's fairly creamy, very easy to apply and it blends very easily with my skin. Uh, I have fair, fairly fair skin. So the sales associate recommended this particular color for me. And I think she was right. You can see it goes on very easily, like just brushed on, and it seems to blend very well. So this is the pen concealer, uh, pen brush concealer. Actually, it's done such a good job in uh, kind of blending in with my skin. You can't really even see it, but it's kind of right here in the center. The other product I got is called the RMK Silk Fit Face Powder. Uh, actually, I wanna show this other one first. It's called the RMK Basic Control Color in the color N04. So I purposely got this color because my dark circles are fairly dark. <laughs> it's pretty deep and I wanted this as something to wear uh, before I put concealer on and it's meant to be like a very orangey color because it will in theory it neutralize the the darker um, under eye circles and I tried this out in the in the department store when the sales associate helped me out and 
it seemed to really work very well with the the base um, color control and the concealer so I will give it a shot and just see if it, it helps with um, the color correction but this is the the second item that I got uh, just to share pricing I love that the Japanese products they they also print the price of the item on the box so this one was 3,500 yen and the color control is also 3,500 yen okay now so so again this is the packaging very minimal again and I hope to really make good use out of these products um, I, I want to be able to use things up before I purchase more now the last item it seemed to go very well with the other two so this is the silk fit face powder in the color 01 and it open it's it's just a small compact like this and it opens like so with a mirror on top um, and you can see the powder is below it's a very powdery finish you can see here and it, it's very very smooth to the skin like so much so that um, when I was there it was I was kind of sweaty and my face felt very oily and the moment she put this on like and I touched my face it felt like it, it felt powdery smooth and that's kind of what sold me on it and it comes with this very nice um, feathery soft brush where you just kind of swipe some of the product on and then apply it to your face. So it's, it is really like a silky, um, powdery finish that you feel on your skin, and it's very translucent. It doesn't really show that much because it's meant to just kind of be a powder on top, and um, I, I really liked the way it felt afterwards. I wasn't gonna get it because I wasn't looking for any kind of powder, but it seemed to go very well with the rest of the products and when I touch my hand now it feels really silky smooth so I wish you could touch it now because it, it really does feel very nice which kind of sold me on this as well so all together these are the three products I got from RMK when you're shopping in Japan um, I'm sure you know this from other people that have talked about it if you're um, a foreigner and you bring your passport with you if you spend more than 5,500 yen you will get tax free on your purchases so right now the tax rate uh, for you know the sales tax is 10% and so I saved 10% off of the sticker price uh, because this price includes tax so that was a nice perk like it's 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 always nice to see that you're not really paying that number, and but 10% uh, lower than that. So if you have any questions for me about these products, I would love to hear more about it. Um, love to have a conversation with you down below. If you've tried these products, let me know how you get on with it, if you like it. And I will love to um, just have a connection with all of you just to get your thoughts. And stay tuned for more videos around the items that I purchased from Japan. And until next time, please stay happy and healthy, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.